Welcome back to Across the Line, everybody. Very excited. We've got Brenda Arsenal LeBlanc and Brianna Middleton here. We are talking about Club Baton Atlantic. We are very excited. Thank you so much for doing this, guys. I know things have been pretty hectic and busy. You've got a big event coming up. I think you're heading out to Regina here shortly, I believe. Yes. Are you excited for it? Very. So I was taking a look at your profile a little bit just to kind of, you know, look at some of the backstory and some of the places that, you know, Baton is taking you. And I was actually pretty blown away to see some of the locations. You've been to France, you've been to Croatia. I mean, that must have been pretty mind-blowing for you. Yeah, especially at such like a young age. It was definitely two good experiences to experience at 17 and 14. And you've been doing this for 13 years now? Yes. Well, that's exciting. And you know, Brenda, I've got a couple questions for you as well. I mean, obviously as a coach here at Baton Atlantic, you were talking, we were talking a little bit off camera about how many twirlers you have, and right now you currently see you've got about 60 under your belt right now. Not enough, though, you'd like to see more. Right. <laughs> so if you look at it now, and how long have you been coaching Brianna for? Uh, for 13 years. Okay, oh. so she's been a coach the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So the, the trip to Regina, this is the Nationals. I think, like you said, it's sort of the cream of the crop. Only one representative from New mm -hmm. Brunswick yeah. going. She happens to be on set with us. Correct, and those are the team trials. Mm -hmm. So to make uh, Team Canada, and um, if she makes Team Canada, she'll will be going to uh, Italy in August. Wow! And um, so uh, across Canada, there's probably about I would say uh, close to a hundred that will be competing in Regina. Mm -hmm. And Brianna will be in the senior category. This will be her first time in the senior. Uh, two years ago, she tried out for the junior. Yeah. And she uh, finished in fourth, in fifth, in fifth. fifth. Yeah. And they take the top four, top three makes it to worlds, and then the fourth is the alternate. We're showing some of the some of the clips here now. Maybe you could walk through, they would walk the viewers through some of the routine here. So this was in Pan Pacific in January, in Red Deer, Alberta, and uh, her partner is Alexi Richard. They've been twirling uh, with this routine since. September, and they finished in third. They finished okay. third at the Pan Pacific. So they had countries from Australia, Japan, uh, USA, and Canada. So this could be an unorthodox question, but I mean, what was it about Baton that brought you into it? I mean, what, what made you fall in love with the sport to, to want to continue to do this? So my neighbor did it, and I never knew what it was, and I was four years old, so my parents were just trying to put me in something. Sure. And when you're four, you don't really understand what's going on in that. But I was having fun, so I stuck into it. And I got really competitive around seven. I went to my first nationals. And once I saw what was, it was really about, seeing it on a national level, it really made me want to like work to get to that level. And then at 12, I made my first international competition with Team Canada. And like that just pushed me to keep going further and further. So as somebody you know who may not know a whole lot about the sport um, in general like walk us through a normal routine like how long do you have to perform is there certain like time segments that like how does that work out so a routine is usually like two minutes and 30 seconds um, there's there's a lot of routines they vary there's like two batons so obviously you have two there's three baton you have three batons you juggle a lot and then there's like a bunch of routines with just one baton but there's some that is more artistic and travel complex and then there's some that are more stationary, and then there's some that are also more artistic, but to a certain song that you get to choose or your coach gets to choose. And they're just very different. And there's probably about 11 I do, including like pairs with my partner. So there's a lot in one competition, but. <laughs> What's your song? My song, it's like a jazzy song. It's okay. not really known, it's more like a dance song. song. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I of the Tigers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, uh, was gonna be, but uh, just looking at that clip there, I mean, there's a lot of choreography that goes yeah. into those type of routines. How much practice time do you guys have to put in to get ready for, for these type of competitions? I usually do two hours, four nights during like the school week, mm -hmm. and then on the weekend, it's usually two hours on a Sunday, and then two hours of coaching with Brenda, with Brenda yeah. after that. So. And when you're doing it with a partner, do you have to? do that time together basically choreograph so we would have to schedule like in our two-hour practices we have to practice all our routines so you basically have to talk with your partner like when do you want to practice it and how much time do you want to work on it and usually she'll tell us what we're practicing like throughout the practice and then sometimes we get to like work on our own and then we'll go back to doing a certain routine 
So Brenda, we were also talking off camera, you said there's a big event actually coming up in Moncton this summer that you know people can go take a look at. Correct. So we have the Canadian Baton Trolling Championships uh, being held at the Avenir Centre, which will be very exciting. Uh, it will run from July 1st to the 6th. Oh, no way. That, see, that's exciting. Oh, you, you get a big building like yeah, that too. And I mean, honestly, to, to have people come on in and take a look mm -hmm. at it. Yes, um, for sure. So uh, you've been doing this for how long now? For I mean, 36 years. So in this January has been your this year. The whole time. Yes. That's pretty impressive. That's and, exciting. And you were mentioning, like you said, Sackville, Cocon, the, the different places that you guys have uh, training. Uh, how many days of the week are you on the road? So I, to, tra to I travel or I coach seven days a week. Wow. Yeah. That's a big commitment. Yes. So I'm going to get you this. I know you brought, would you mind if we asked you to put on a little bit of a show? Would you do mm -hmm. that for us? I mean, we don't have the height for you, but mm -hmm. I mean, we could probably do something if, if mm -hmm. that's not too much to ask. Do we have the music? <laughs> I don't know if we, I don't think we can cue up your tune. I but, don't know. But as long as it's not too much, would you mind? No, I don't mind. Okay, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I figured you've got the hardware. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> So, is there a name for that? Oh? Uh, that was Cutback. Okay. Um, then I did some rocks. Okay. And then elbow pops. Yeah, there's 13 no years of training right there. I, <laughs> I can't do that. I was going to say, we were talking a lot that we were going we were to put on a clinic here in a minute, but there is 0% chance I have that kind of skill. That's absolutely impressive. We talk about not having enough twirlers, and if people wanted to get involved, how does someone get involved with Baton Cole Atlantic? So, we have a website, www.batonatlantic.com. Uh, Atlantic with a K, and uh, we also have Facebook group, uh, Facebook page, yeah. and um, Instagram. And Instagram. Perfect. How how big has social media been for your sport? I mean, something like that in a competition where twirling. I mean, I would think to be able to post videos online that would you know help draw in the crowd to share it. And I mean, you see how social media has impacted a lot of things. I would think that like in a Baton Atlantic type situation, that'd be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it for opened sure. up a lot, even throughout the world. Yeah. Of of the sport because it's not really well known. A lot of people see us in the Santa Claus Parade in sure. Moncton and that's probably what they still remember is that's what they do, marching, yep. right? So so it's a lot more than, than a parade. So yeah. I'll ask you this then, we've got a little bit of time left here. When you're not doing this, what are you doing? Uh, well, I'm in grade 12. Okay. So I'm like planning out what I'm planning doing out after. Planning life. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, since I'm in the gym a lot, it's really hard to like do schoolwork, so I'm usually doing that or trying yeah. to spend a little bit of time with my friends, because since I'm always doing that, I want to have a little bit of a social life, but obviously you need to choose what's more important. So. Balance. Well, that's Balance, yeah. Absolutely incredible, guys. I want to thank you both very much for doing this. I know that uh, you know coming in here, like I was telling you, joking around, it's like we didn't know a whole lot about the sport. But the fact that you guys came on in here to have a chat with us, you know what, it really kind of helped educate Chris and I. So thank you very much. That's going to wrap it up, guys. We hope you've had as much fun as we had. We'll see you next Thursday.